Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more esports talk. Today we are tank topped up because it is a hundred degrees here in Las Vegas and I have been sweating all day. And so tank top it is, that was definitely the move. We're going to be talking about Samito, an Overwatch content creator who was recently let go from the Florida Mayhem because of something that he said on stream. There was a clip of a rant from one of his streams that ended up going a little bit viral, which got him removed from the organization. I'm not even gonna get mad. It's just, it's actually insane. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yo, Ozma, shut the f up and go be brain dead somewhere else, you no name shitter. You're not gonna amount to anything in your life, you stupid pussy. How about you go swan dive onto a fing set of Legos, you little bitch? No one cares what you have to fing say. Don't be complaining about the paycheck. Shut the f up. If I was in this for money, I would have swapped to Fortnite or Warzone a long fing time ago, but I actually enjoy this game. So how about you take your stupid bitch ass little plat ass that no one on this planet gives a fing about and get the fing out of here? You wouldn't say that shit to me in land because I beat the fing shit out of you. Okay, get the fing out of my stream. Never come back. No one loves you kill yourself I and so that clip starts to get a little bit of traction where you see Samito telling a viewer to in themselves and going on I mean the clip ends right there and so that was a clip that a lot of people saw that was spread around of him just telling a viewer to uh, end up harming themselves in the long run and so later on we have Samito come forward and he says wait wait, wait a second that it wasn't the full clip, actually. People don't have the full context of what this was. He tweeted that the part that apparently no one wants to show, I'm totally wrong, fellas. Take it on the chin. And to be honest, I expected the same punishment others in the league received when they said similar things. I don't know, man. While I am totally, totally wrong, it feels like the short stick. Uh, don't do that. That was a COD reference. Holy shit. That was a Freudian slip. Don't do that. I apologize. I should not say that. That was bad. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That was a fucking COD line I heard last night. I'm not going to lie. No, 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 no. That's my fault. That's totally my fault. I don't mean that. Some kid said that to me in COD last night. That's the first thing that came to mind. That's my bad. That, that's my fault. No, 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 no. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. As, as someone who, who has been in a situation like that before where, where you're questioning everything, it's, it's not okay to say. So I apologize for that. That's my fault. I actually feel bad about that. That's my fault. That's my fault. That's totally my fault. So Amza, whatever your name was, my bad, bro. My bad. That, that's too far. My bad. My bad, my bad. That's, that one's on me. We see that as soon as the words came out of his mouth, he did, in fact, apologize. He took it back and said, hey, like, I should not have said that. I'm so sorry. Uh, there wasn't something I meant to say. It just slipped out. And he goes on to say that it was because he was playing Call of Duty last night and someone pretty much said it to him and it was in his head. And so he more or less just repeated it back in his rant because it was in his subconscious type deal. Regardless of what you think of that, Florida Mayhem did go ahead and release him from the organization with a statement. Effective immediately, Samito will no longer be affiliated with a Florida Mayhem. The comments made by Samito on his recent stream are unacceptable and in no way represent the values of the Florida Mayhem. Florida Mayhem will be making a donation to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline a suicide prevention network of over 160 crisis centers across the U.S. that provides 24-7 service to those in need of their hotline. It's a sticky situation for sure because, yes, he did say something that was unacceptable. He told someone to go ahead and end themselves, which is not an okay thing in any capacity. However, as soon as the words left his mouth, I think everyone can agree that he seemed very apologetic. He was, I mean, he wasn't forced to say that. It was literally as soon as it came out of his mouth, he apologized and so a tricky situation i can see how people fall on both sides of this for sure i definitely don't blame for a mayhem i think for dropping him because as an organization you're not really looking at this from a personal point of view whether or not you personally agree with this or you feel like what he said was bad as an organization and a brand it makes total sense to drop someone like that just because that came out of their mouth. As a brand, you're going to have advertisers come up to you and say, hey, you still have this guy on your roster, on your organization. And so, like, we don't want to work with you because he said this at one point, even if he apologized. Like, a lot of advertisers don't care about that. If it's connected to your brand, then you're not going to have a lot of leeway. Samito so did release his own video about the situation where he apologizes quite a lot and also says that he will likely be suing the person who posted that clip to begin with. I'm 100% accountable for my actions. I'm an idiot. 
I go full autopilot when I'm talking shit. And when I told a kid at the end of the line, I said, you know, jump on some Legos, you plat, you know, you guys get it, the whole usual spiel. That's just my persona. It's the angry, toxic gamer. And then at the end of it, I said, go kill yourself. And immediately, right after that, I said, whoa, like, I am so sorry. Like, I did not mean that. That just slipped out because <laughs> some kid said that to me when I was playing Call of Duty the night before. And whenever I'm talking shit, like, you guys know how fast I talk. Like, my brain doesn't have time to, like, kind of compute all of it all the way. It's kind of like, uh, uh, not proofreading, but skimming, like skim reading. Like, my brain is, like, skim reading thoughts. You know what I mean? So, having a kid say that to me the night before, for whatever reason, put it in my crazy head. And I said it, I'm accountable for it, and I am sorry. I just wish that Reddit and, and trolls in my community, the person who uploaded this clip is a known troll in my community, that I will be seeing in court. I'm, I'm going to sue him because it's, it's not fair to me, to be honest with you. Likes to crop things out of context to fit to better fit their narrative. And the only thing that I ask, because listen, I know not everyone's going to like my vibe. I knew that going into it all. That's totally fine. You are absolutely entitled to your opinion, and I respect that. But if you're going to judge me, I want the whole story to be there. So when you crop a clip and don't include the part where half a second later, I immediately say, uh, oh my God, like I am totally wrong, which I was and still am totally, 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 totally wrong. In fact, the plan was for me to get fined and put that money towards um, the suicide prevention hotline, which I totally would have done. I absolutely would have done. I'd been be a part of the solution, you know, but I'm going to play the clip for you right now. The part that got cropped out from Reddit by a known troll in my community who is trying to defame me. And my contract was terminated because of him. That is I, I have every grounds to sue because there have been many instances in the past where news agencies and like people who put this stuff out crop evidence and they damage a brand, which it did. I just got cut from my org, right? Like you, you need to put the whole picture. He's going to be going to court for a defamation where he is claiming that the person is constantly doing this sort of thing. They are clipping things at a certain time that makes the context irrelevant, right? They cut out the apology so that he looks worse, so that it fits a certain narrative of the type of person that Samito is. And so I guess we'll find out if that does go through, if the lawsuit goes through and where it ends up. I'd be interested to see if he does have a case or not and what the situation plays out to be. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all this. Do you think what Florida Mayhem did was right by releasing him? Do you think they really had a choice in all of this and yeah just let me know your thoughts guys until next time be safe be smart behave stay cool guys